when you look at residual risk, there will be residual risk that is modifiable and there will be residual risk that is not modifiable. Where residual risk exists in part because LDL, non-HDL, ApoB levels are still very high despite contemporary treatment, then clearly cardiovascular risk and residual risk will be considerably attenuated by a treatment that gives you a further 50% reduction in these lipid parameters. Well, that's the belief. If, if you look at the consistency of um, all the data that we have for statins, for example, and by and large where we don't have other trial data and from other lipid modifying treatments, it's often because those treatments are actually fairly weak and or that there's a problem with the trial design. So for example with HPS2 Thrive you've got a population very well treated and when you actually add in niacin there is very little shift in the LDL cholesterol in that group and HDLC doesn't go up very much because you're not actually looking at the population that we might normally consider the use of those agents. So that, that's, a, that's a problem with trial design rather than the treatments do not work. There are going to be populations, if we study, study those individuals, where perhaps the, the disease is either so advanced or the, it's a different type of, of disease process where PCSK9 may not have an effect. And those might be individuals, for example, with end-stage renal disease, uh, where we know that whilst they're at risk of cardiovascular events, a lot of those are not atherothrombotic, so they're arrhythmias, they are hemorrhagic strokes, and PCSK9 inhibition won't really make a difference there. But we have a huge unmet need, statin intolerance being one, not getting to appropriate target levels being another. And when you look at people with metabolic syndrome and multiple risk factors, the absolute event rate is actually very high. So in those patients, a treatment that brings down your non-HDL by 50%, your LDL by 60% should have a significant impact and more so than any treatment that we've got thus far.